I'm so discombobulated. So incomplete. So thinking about killing myself because of it. The main reason being because Jesus is not taking me back. Yeah, because I was a loser. I, three years ago, I announced him against the Spirit's plea in me to not do so, but I did so anyways. So I take it, I blasphemed the Holy Ghost, committed an unpardonable sin. I've been trying for three years now to get him back, but... It's like he's teasing me. I would have hope. I, I I would feel I feel the light coming back to me. But for two things, Jesus Christ is not answering the one of my prayer for reassurance. That I have hope. I can be saved again. But constantly, my ask, Lord, if I'm unpardonable, let this or that happen. It happens. Like, today, tonight, I was riding a bike. Every time I prayed, if there was hope, I could spit and hit a tire, I missed it. I'm probably, that, that, that made me outraged at God. But the times I prayed, Lord, if there is no hope, let me hit the tire. I'd hit it more often than not. The five times I asked, Lord, if there is no hope, if I truly am impartable, or impartable, let somebody tell me they'll pray for me before the day's over. Five times it has happened. Maybe not once have I asked, Lord, 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 if there is hope, let somebody tell me they'll, they'll pray for me today. Not once has it happened. Let me tell you about the one time it happened, okay, two times. One time I said, Lord, if I am truly impartable, let somebody tell me they're praying for me, be, be today. The day was going on and on. It was getting close to night. I'm thinking, yes, nobody told me they're praying for me yet. So afraid that mom was going to tell me, Chris, I'm praying for you. But then I get a call from my Bible study, study leader, Jimbo Perry. He wants to speak to me. He says, Chris, we're not going to have Bible study tonight because of the coronavirus. But we are praying for you. Thanks a lot, Jesus, for letting me cross this damn deadline. I gotta say, if I, I curse you if you let if you let me commit the unpardonable sin, and I don't want to curse you. I take that back. No, I'm not gonna curse you. But the other time, I got I prayed the, the prayer was Monday. I went. I had Bible study that night. I went to Bible study. I was so glad nobody told me they were praying for me. When I got home, I was in a hurry to get on my bike and ride my bike until my mom and dad went to bed so they could not tell me they were praying for me. But as I got ready to walk outside, my mom said, Chris, I am praying for you. And suddenly I had to change my mind about going out and riding my bike. Jesus, am I truly unpardonable? Can't you take me back for your sake? Or if I'm truly unpardonable, can you please give me the long arms? Longer than Chef Wendy Lane? Sexy Chef Wendy Lane? Or longer than those females who got have longer arms and forearms than I got? And let me be an exceedingly good looking guy? And look in my 20s? I have never had... Everything I, everything that made life worth living is gone. And God has taken it from, taken it away from me. I say that with reverence. God has destroyed my life. All he did one time was love me. If I pushed him too far, I was insistent upon getting my dreams. And finally, God has abandoned me. He's left me. I'm deluged with thoughts of unbelief. One, one if Jesus is even true, sometimes. How can I, how can I pray to Jesus is asking to come back with me, to back that back to me when I don't believe He is even hearing my prayers? Because every time I ask Him for a reassurance, I'm 
There's hope. He never answers it. So how can I... And without faith, it is impossible to please him. But James, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, tossed to and fro. Let that not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. So God, Jesus, either take me back or give me the life I want here. And damn me infinitely more when I damn, I'm damn damn because you won't take me back. I mean business, God. Take me back or give me my life. And when you please love me like you once did. Jesus, are you real?